To find a generating function for a sequence, we assume some function given as a power series, then we use algebra and calculus to eliminate the tail of the series and solve for f of x. And all of this revolves around our key strategy, be a lizard and drop the tail. So suppose we want to find a generating function for this recurrence relation where we know a0, a1, and a2. So it's useful to remember we should try to align on the xn term. So our power series has an xn term, an x to the n. Our recurrence relation has a term for a n minus 1, and we want that to be an x to the n term, so we want for a n minus 1 x to the n. Now in our function, the a n minus 1 coefficient is multiplied by x to the n minus 1, And so to make for a n minus 1 the coefficient of x to the n, we need to multiply f of x by 4x. Our recurrence relation has a minus 5 a n minus 2, and we want minus 5 a n minus 2 x to the n. So in our power series, we have a n minus 2 x to power n minus 2, and so we want to multiply our function by minus 5x squared. Our recurrence relation has a 2an minus 3 term. We want 2an minus 3 to power xn. And in our function, we have an minus 3 x to power n minus 3. So multiplying by 2x cubed gives us 2 a n minus 3 x to the n. Now because we've aligned on the x to the n term, this means our x to the n coefficients include something that looks like our recurrence relation. And in fact, if we subtract, our x n coefficient will be, but from our recurrence relation, we know that a n is equal to the subtracted terms, which means that after a certain point, all our coefficients are zero and the tail drops out. And in fact, the first value the recurrence relationship can compute is a3, which means that the x cubed and higher degree terms vanish automatically. So if we look at the left-hand side, it will be f of x minus, and we can simplify that. So remember, the x cubed and higher degree terms vanish automatically because of the recurrence relationship. So we only need to worry about the x squared or lower degree terms, and we'll include them as the first terms. In f of x, they are In 4x f of x, they are, where again, we only need to worry about the x squared or lower degree terms. And likewise for minus 5x squared and 2x cubed f of x, our first terms up to the square term will be, the right hand side will be, and since we know a0, a1, and a2, we can simplify to get, And finally, we can solve for f of x to get. So now that we've gone through all this trouble to find a generating function, why bother? We'll take a look at that next.